a biography of Venerable Tamachiyo. One day, while sitting in a car, after having been ordained as a monk for a year, Tamachiyo Bhikkhu passes by a racetrack. A thought occurs to him. There are tens of thousands of people betting on horses. In the future, I will inspire a great number of people to go to the temple to practice meditation and observe the precepts. Not long after, he initiates the construction of Wat Pratamagaya from a barren paddy field with an initial fund of only 3,200 baht or $160 in 1970. Wat Pratamagaya has now become the place where the greatest number of people can congregate to meditate and observe the precepts. Venerable Tamachiyo was born Chayabun Sutipon on April 22, 1944. Chayabun was eager when it came to acquiring knowledge. He likes to read biographies of important people as a way to inspire himself. But no matter how much success these people achieved, in the end, they all had to die. It made him realize that no matter how successful one is, no one has been able to overcome death. The journey of every human life comes to an end at one's death. This motivated young Chayabun to search for the answers to life's questions. Why are we born? What is the purpose of one's life? Where do we go after we die? Do heaven and hell really exist? Young Chayabun sought Dhamma masters for answers to these questions. He received various answers. Some said, I don't know. I'm not sure. Heaven and hell might as well exist because it is recorded in the Tipitaka, the Buddhist scriptures, that heaven lies in our heart and hell is in our mind. Some even remarked, you're still young, why are you so interested in this? Then one day he came upon a book titled Vipassana Bantung, a publication on meditation. In it, the Dhammagaya tradition mentions that arahats exist within us. This fascinated him so greatly that he made his way to Wat Baknam, a temple where the late great master Pratmong Konte Muni initiated the Dhammagaya meditation technique. At that time, Chayabun was still a student at Suan Gulab Secondary School when he decided to find a nun named Kunyai Jun, a disciple of the great master who possessed extraordinary meditative power. When Chayabun met Kunyai, he asked her the same set of questions that had lingered in him. Why are we born? Where do we go after death? Do heaven and hell really exist? The answers that young Chayabun received from Kunyai surprised him immensely. Kunyai said, Yes, heaven and hell do exist. I've been there. Do you want to go there? I could teach you how and we could go together. This was the first time in his life where Chayabun met a meditation practitioner with such extraordinary meditative power that she's able to teach that the afterlife exists, which is consistent with the Tipitaka. This was the turning point in Chayabun's life, and he begins to practice meditation diligently in order to verify for himself and to discover the truth of life. During his four years at Gasetsat University, he persisted in his practice of meditation with Kunyai at Wat Baknam. It was one of the happiest and most serene periods in his life. After Chayabun graduated from Gasetsat University, he took the saffron rope and ordained as a monk at Wat Baknam on August 27, 1969. He was given the monastic name Tamachiyo, which means victory through the Dhamma. Venerable Tamachiyo later reflected that the practice of meditation is the only way to personally verify the teachings of the Lord Buddha. There would be no end in sight if people only sat down to argue about the teachings. We will find a way to get a million people to become interested in the Dhamma, go to the temple, 
and practice meditation because there are so many people in the world who have never heard about the teachings of the Buddha. On any given day, there may be several millions of people on the path of ruin, alcoholism, smoking, drugs, gambling, while those who go to the temple to earnestly practice meditation are very few, and the number of deserted temple continues to grow with each passing day. Buddhism cannot decline during our era. As long as we are still breathing, we will not allow Buddhism to perish. We will propagate Buddhism and help it prosper like it once did during the time of the Buddha. With this great mission, which is not just a dream, Venerable Tamachio has fully dedicated himself to spreading Buddhism throughout the world before he departs from this world.